Yes, I knew Dill and Dell. Dill and Dell. Dill and Dell. Oh, yes. Those names take me back. Those were the days. I wasn't a successful band leader I am today. The first time I met them, I never forget. I'd been hired to lay down the background tracks for one of their early shorts when they came in. They always came in together. Oh, but you know that already. Of course, they were Siamese, Siamese pickles. They were always arguing. When their contracts ended and they gained their artistic freedom, well, you all know what happened. Don't you have any conscience? How can you consider producing such a drivel? It's what they want to see. It's what they understand. The audience will never learn unless we teach them. You can't teach anyone anything they don't want to learn. Nobody really knows what they want to learn. That's our responsibility. Responsibility? Ha! Your audience is just a bunch of scum and losers. What use could there be in teaching them anything? Give them a couple of thrills. Make us a couple of bucks. That's all they want. That's all we need. That's not all I need. I need to feel I've contributed something to the world. I need to feel that I've made a difference. And die poor? Don't be a fool. Nobody listens to martyrs anymore. Yes! I remember Dill and Dill! They were great! Ah! There's nothing wrong with filling up space in the market. Take children. Their children's market is incredible. Take, for example, Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed <laughs> to see such sport. And the dish ran away with a spoon. Hey, have you been messing with my scripts? What of it? Hey, diddle, diddle, what's that supposed to mean? Who cares? I care. Well, then, what would you do? Something to raise the public awareness. Make people think. Feel. <laughs> thought Bambi's mother should have been killed as well. It wouldn't have been half the film without it. How two such dissimilar entities could share the same uh, uh, feet is beyond me. Before Dill and Dell found me, I was nothing but a beat up old teddy bear with stuffing falling out all over. They came along, pulled me out of the trash and made me a star. Dell thought I had great commercial possibilities, but Dill thought I should bite people. They rarely agreed on anything. The closest they ever came to getting an independent project of the ground was Eyeball. They agreed on the title, but beyond that, well, no one knows. I agree. Eyeball is a great title. Yes, indeed. I know just how to begin it, too. Oh, Canada. You've got to be kidding. Or a whole native land. No style, no form. It's got to be more like this. They are very strange. Yes, I remember them. They were nice boys. <clears throat> very quiet. Hmm. Maybe quiet isn't the right word. Uh, loud and obnoxious. Yeah, that's it. Loud and obnoxious. After they broke up, Dill started working on a western. The problem was, nothing happened in it. Adolf Hitler was Dell began an educational film about Hitler. He became the head of the Nazi party in 1932. He was one of the most evil men ever born. Together with his diabolical entourage of lieutenants. Sounded like a 1957 encyclopedia of Britannica. I may not be the smartest pickle in the world. No, you're not. 
but I don't want to be like some 70s guy dancing the night away until I outlive my usefulness. <laughs> and then they died. I can't believe it. I've said my prayers every night all my life just to end up spending eternity with you. This is in heaven. This is... Hello. Would anyone want to buy a slightly used cartoon character? Cheap. Okay, band. One, two, three, and... <laughs>